and welcome back to my channel. I have not made a video in ages because I went back to work at the beginning of December from being on maternity leave for a year and I think with just adjusting to all of our new routines, Ren started daycare full time, it's just been, um, it's just been like a whole new world to get used to. So I just kind of took out all the extra from my life and tried to focus on just establishing routines and kind of finding a new, a new sense of normalcy. So now that I feel like we're there, I really want to start making some new videos because I did miss um, making those regularly. So I thought I would jump back in today with a really simple what's in my toddler's Easter basket. So Ren, my daughter, is 15 months old now and Easter last year, she was only about four months old so I didn't do an Easter basket. And I know lots of moms do you baskets for their little babies and there's lots of really cute little things you can buy but to be honest at that point I just thought what's the point point? and I know the same could be said for a one-year-old but this year I just decided to go for it so maybe this is more for me than her but you know what I had fun putting it together putting it together and I'm excited to see her rip it apart in a few days also Ren's just eating dinner just off camera so you might hear her talking a little bit in the background and making a bit of noise hopefully it's not too disruptive are you still eating? Are you all done? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna try and not make this too long because I am working with a limited time while Ren eats, so hopefully this doesn't drag on too much. Right, so this is the Easter basket I've put together for Ren. This guy's kind of popping out the top here. So I'm just gonna go through the basket and uh, tell you what I have inside. And this basket on the outside, I know it's not like her traditional Easter basket, but I just thought it was so cute. It's a felt basket or bag, tote, whatever you want to call it. And this is from HomeSense and it's totally festive because it has the bunny on the front and I can reuse this um, for many years to come. So the first thing in the top is just this cute little plush toy. It's a little baby lamb so it's obviously associated with spring and Easter. Um, obviously Ren, like most kids, have way too many plush toys but it was just too cute and it was just kind of a nice big filler to put in the basket. The next thing are these gold Easter eggs, and I have three of them in here. Um, and I just picked these up from the dollar store. And what I've done inside is just put a couple little things that she might find, you know, fun. This one is a Love Child um, little snack bar. It is the organic oat fruit, no, that's just the type. Oh, cherry and spinach. Little cherry and spinach oat bar. Um, and then honestly with these eggs, I know, I know that these are going to be Ren's favorite thing. She's not going to care about anything else. She's not going to care about what's inside them. It's literally going to be these containers are going to like rock her world. She loves stuff like that and they're shiny. So it's going to blow her mind. So I have three. So I had the little snack bar in the one. And then in this one, I have a little hair bow. This one is a pink sparkly bow from a lovely little company that Ren actually reps for and that is called Cloth Crowns. They're in Canada and they make seriously the cutest bows. Okay, next thing is um, I have two little books in here. Don't do that. She's licking the spoon and she's pretending to gag herself. Do other kids do that? She does it with her fingers too. Oh, it concerns me. Do you need more food on the spoon? One of Ren's absolute favorite things to do is sit in the corner. She has a little like book corner in her room and she loves to sit there and read her books. I do prefer that she still reads the hard, um, like the cardboard books because she has a few paper pages and honestly she still just tries to rip them out. So these will be a big hit. Okay, so the next thing um, are these like little trio set of gardening tool, so a little spade, a little shovel, and I don't know, what is this thing called? I can't remember. And I picked these up because we're actually going to Hawaii in a couple months, and I thought that they would be really fun for her to play with on the beach. Next thing in the basket is this little bib, and the reason that I'm including this in her Easter basket is, I don't know if you can even see, the brand is called Honey Bunny. So it's like a bunny. For Easter, hey? Yeah, I don't know. It's got cats on it, so there's actually nothing to do with Easter. But I thought it was really cute, and Ren is outgrowing a lot of her bibs that we kind of just had from when she was younger. They just don't cover the surface area. I need them to. So this was a nice wide bib. It's plastic, so it's easy to wipe down. It has a little, um, 
like food catcher pocket. So I think that'll be perfect. And the pattern was really cute with all the little cats on it. The big item at the back. This is um, a munchkin set of bath toys. So Ren is really having a blast in her baths these days. And I just wanted to give her a few more toys to play with. Right now she has a couple rubber ducks and she has some bath books. And I just thought these would be really fun because we can start to like spell out names and have fun with that. So um, yeah, I think it says, it's 36 pieces. So it's numbers and letters. And it does say on the package, where did I see it? Was it this one? This one doesn't say it, but there was two side by side and the packaging was a little bit different, but it was the exact same product and it said three plus. I'm not really too worried. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Um, I don't know why they would need to be three plus. I'm Obviously she's never unattended in the bath anyway. So yeah, I think she's gonna have a blast with those. And the last little thing here is a food pouch. So I have to be careful that Ren doesn't see this, but she loves these food pouches and we always buy the Love Child Organics. And this is apple, spinach, kiwi, broccoli. Honestly, she has one every day. So like, it's not gonna blow her socks off and be that big of a treat, but she does love them. So I think it'll kind of like finish off the basket with a nice little treat because obviously I'm not putting chocolate in a basket for my one year old. But that is my Easter basket for my toddler. I hope this gives you some ideas of what to include in your Easter basket. And also comment below um, if you are including something that you think would be really good for like a two or three year old because I will keep that in mind for next year. We're probably gonna open this at Easter dinner. So I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to a happy family holiday. So happy Easter to you all and thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I would very much appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Excuse you. <laughs> like I said, I'm definitely going to make an effort to do more videos now that I feel like we sort of have a new balance and new routines and everything like that. I really want to do a tips for returning to work after maternity leave. So definitely keep your eye on my channel for that. And other than that, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.